guys, it's your girl Karen. I hope you guys are doing excellent and having an amazing, amazing day out there. Thank you so much for stopping by on this channel, on this video and watching this. And today I'm going to go over 10 Valentine's date ideas that are not your basic restaurant or your candlelight dinner or whatever. It's not your basic restaurant dinner idea. It's something a little different, something cool. Maybe there's a twist, whatever it is. I'm gonna go over some 10 great ideas to take your date on Valentine's Day. Let's get started. All right, our very first not so basic date idea, ice skating. I think some of you might have already guessed it. If you are located in Toronto like me, you can actually go to Nathan Phillips Square and it's gonna cost you $10 each to rent a skate and skate around for, I think, two hours max you can rent. You could go skating and then go get some coffee or go get some hot chocolate um, or go get some, I don't know, burger. Next on our list, date idea number two, a cooking session at a restaurant like Eatly. It's a bit of a concept restaurant. I actually have never been there, but this is what I hear. It's got its marketplace where you can go buy groceries. It has these cooking lessons. The idea is go to a restaurant, learning from a chef how to cook something new together. Neither of you are gonna get bored because you're learning something new all together. And on to our next date idea, wine and chocolate tasting. I thought this idea was cool because wine and chocolate do go together, although I'm not a big wine person. I don't like wine myself. Um, I do know the two pair really well. You may have to do these separately. That means you have to find two different places where they host wine tasting and another one that hosts chocolate tasting. You know, if you're not a wine fan, you could, you could replace that with beer tasting or something else. But the wine and chocolate combo is kind of cute, is kind of fun, and uh, yeah, let me know if you end up uh, picking one of those, or just be basic and do the wine tasting. <laughs> but please do something different from just a restaurant. These ideas can be used any time of the year. You Maybe you've been spending too much time just watching movies at home together. Well, go out and do one of these things, and it doesn't have to be on Valentine's Day, and you don't necessarily have to pay double, triple the price they would charge on Valentine's Day, which they probably do. So you can use these ideas any time of the year. I've just made this video on Valentine's because it kind of made more sense. I'm sure you guys are searching for some date ideas right now because I'm positive you guys have not prepared for Valentine's whatsoever. Also, this year Valentine's is on Friday, correct? So you have the weekend. That means you can do a few things if you really want to splurge a little bit. Or you can do, you know, one thing on one day or another thing on another day. So it doesn't really have to be on the day itself. Moving on, Valentine's date idea number four. Themed cooking and dine in at your comfort of home. I'm sure a lot of you probably are gonna do this over going out at all. I recommend doing a themed dinner together. That means both of you cook something together and it's themed by themed, I mean it could be like we're gonna make Mexican, we're gonna make Thai food. I love Thai food, by the way. All right, we're gonna make Indian. I also love Indian food. Or we can make Italian. All right, so on to our fifth Valentine's or any kind of date idea, a basketball or a hockey game. Out here in Canada, right now, basketball, very popular. Hockey, very popular. Take your date out to the game. It will be a lot of fun. Um, it's even more fun if um, you both are fans of a specific team. On to our next date idea. This one is a lot of fun and uh, you don't need no talent for this. Karaoke. <laughs> I'm sure all of us at some point in our lives have been to a karaoke and we forget that that exists sometimes um, but I'm sure every single city has karaoke. On to our seventh date idea. Comedy club or a comedy show. So I think they're kind of both the same thing. Anyways, in Canada we have Second City or Yuck Yucks. Um, I've never been to either. You'd be surprised. I live in Canada for a while, living for like eight years now. I've never been to either, but um, I've heard excellent things. And I think to be able to laugh together, um, that's a whole different bond. Like, you know, it's you enjoy it. And hey, listen, if you guys out there are single, that is totally fine. Go with your best friend. Like, go with a friend of yours. You know, drag. Drag your friend, drag your roommate, just go have fun. On to our eighth date idea, a spa day with your loved one. You both could just go for a massage together. You can indulge in a relaxing spa day together. On to our second last, that is the ninth date idea, escape room. For some of you who don't know what escape rooms are, 
Just please go ahead and Google it. I'm not gonna tell you what, I'm kidding. The whole idea is you get locked in a room and then you have to go through a bunch of clues, bunch of, you have to find a bunch of answers. You have to unlock a bunch of locks before you can find the key to open to get you out of the room and you're given a set amount of time. I think it's usually 45 minutes to an hour. Some places have a minimum of four people that they need in the room which kind of sucks because now you're like, oh shoot, you're only two. But you can probably try and grab, you know, another pair of your friends, like two couples, maybe it can be a double Valentine's date. I don't know, we'll make it happen. So our last date idea, number 10, going on a haunted tour together. I'm sure your local city, um, every local city, has haunted tours usually. Um, I know when I used to live in Ottawa, there was one, I know in Toronto we have one. I don't know if they open all year long, that's another thing, so excuse me if I'm you know, giving this idea at a wrong time. Haunted tours are an excellent um, date idea together because then you can be scared together and scream together. Even if you are someone that gets scared very easily, um, I think you're gonna be completely fine. You're with your partner, it's gonna be okay, it's just a story. Um, a lot of times I don't think these things are true, although someone like me will listen to these stories, come back home and then Google every single thing I ever heard just to find facts if it was true or not. So these are my 10 date ideas for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please comment in the section below to let me know if you have used any of these ideas or are thinking to use any of these ideas or if you have any more ideas than from the ones I listed, please put it in the comment section below. Don't forget to let me know if you've used one of these ideas. It makes me really happy every time I find out you guys found something, one little thing useful out of my video. It just helps me know, okay, you know, what I should keep doing this this is helping that one person I'm gonna keep doing it for that one person <laughs> friendly reminder please like this video and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> date idea number one seriously hey Google shut up this is what you get when you have AIs in your house. By the way, I love Google and I love all this cool tech, but they interrupt you sometimes when you talk out loud, they think you're talking to them. Oof.